After being traumatized by the last recording session, Mr. Editor or Mrs. Editor, whoever may be editing this video. Whoa! Is this a golf game or what? <laughs> Holy crap, the intro. Is this a golf game? It's a game I found on uh, Itch called Vertiginous Golf. Can I? No, I don't want to quit. I can walk. Hmm. Let's see what's inside. Can I mess with the volume? Is this a horror game? I really hope not. Options, please. Holy crap, sound. Oh my god. How's it going everyone? My name is Snowy and welcome to a game called Vertiginous Golf. I think it's like a, a vertigo kind of thing. I don't exactly know. There's multiplayer, one player. There's courses. Tutorial, one, one hole. I mean, I guess we could do the tutorial really quick. I don't know what I'm doing. I... Please seat yourself. Is there a, there's a chair over here. What is happening? The, what? Is this a horror game? Is someone not telling me something? Is this is this a horror game? I'd like to know before I get into these kinds of things. Press B to start the tutorial hole. I kind of want to see where this goes first. It's kind of got me scared now. Hang on, let me... There we go. Um, how to aim. Click and drag. Now look behind you. Oh, now it'll tell me. Okay, I see. How to shoot. Click and drag to power up, release to shoot. Okay. Or alternatively, hold spacebar to power up and release to shoot. Nah, we got this. Where are we even going? I don't know. But hey, look at me, you got a perfect shot. Earth. How to zoom? Scroll the mouse wheel? Okay, I see. I see you. It looks like there's a bunch of conveyor belts. So maybe we'll just give it a little bit of power. Not a lot of power. Oh, well, there goes our shot. We're just gonna do a little bit. You know, just a little putt. A little gentle there. Gotta give it that nice touch, you know? Press Z to rewind your shots. This depletes your rewind bar, so use it carefully. Okay, but what if I don't want to? Your rewind power depletes the further you travel. Your rewind power recharges when you use the putter. I didn't even see that. There's a little pink bar down there. Yeah. I actually kind of like this. Minus the whole, like, fuzzy graphics and everything. Press V on the keyboard. What? That's crazy. Okay. That's actually really cool. I'm new to this whole uh, computer thing, so don't mind me. We want money? We get money for this? Just really gentle. Okay. So that was a par two. We got it in four shots. Not terrible. I also need to get... Oh, well, that was... I also need to get a hang of... Um... Can I press X? We're gonna do our best here. Oh, I get it. It's like a T reference. That makes sense, kind of. Not really. I'm still convinced it's a horror game. I'm gonna get out of this game and it's gonna like pop up and jump scare me. Go rah! We're all lined up. We just need to crush it home. Just gotta wait for it to get back and bang. Oh, that was too far. Oh, too far? Oh, not too far? Oh no, what is that? Where are we shooting for? Oh, right there? Oh, I see. Oh, I hit it so hard. All right, I'll take the three shots. That's an easy win. That's an easy win. Is my camera recording? No, my memory card is full. One moment, please. I didn't die. It just ran out of storage. So I had to physically take the SD card out of it, put it into my computer, and I had to take some stuff off of it to free up some space. So now there's a bunch of videos that I have unedited on my computer, and there's a lot more room in my SD card, so hopefully it doesn't run out of space anytime soon, because I kind of need it. I don't know when it died. I'm pretty sure it died like a while ago, like a way while back, so you might not see much in between then and now. If you missed anything, we have a bird. We can literally get a bird's eye view at things. So let's try and hit it gently enough to go. Nope, well, we failed at that. I was going to try and get it onto the conveyor belt. If you haven't seen the video of the, uh, the train game, I forget what it's called. Crap. It's literally like the best game I've played in such a long time. Keep an eye out for that because I'm, I'm looking forward to playing that so much. Like an unbelievable amount. Oh, this is going to suck, isn't it? Trying to get it straight onto the freaking... We're going to do our best here. Not shoot it over. It's very hard to like angle, I guess, angle my shots. Or check the power, really, is what I'm talking about here. Checking the power on this when you pull back, you never know how hard it's going to shoot because it feels like it's going to hit so softly. But then you swing and he launches it across the map. 
or you pull back a lot more than you think you should, and then it just, doop, it just whiffs. It's not going to be a hole-in-one, but uh, we can try. Oh, well, at least we tried, huh? Hit the ramp? Oh, dang it. I hit it way too far. Holy crap. Also, does this ball have some curve on it? Look at that trowel. It looks like it has some curve on it. Next hole, please. I do think it's like a really, really unique game, too. It uses the, the whole bird's eye view thing. You can literally f physically fly around the map as a bird. And I think that is such a cool mechanic. I think the gameplay just needs to be a little bit touched up. But other than that, I think it's such a cool mechanic. And I just screwed myself, I think. I think we want to go back up here, though. Well, we can. Oh, a little bit harder. What just happened? Oh, I'm getting blown back by the wind turbine. I see. So the wind turbines rotate, so I can't just... Never mind. I guess they... Dude, I don't know. We're going to restart this hole. Is that possible? Yeah. I'm very scared as to which direction these things are blowing me, because, like... It seems to not want to tell me where it's blowing the ball. Oh, what's happening right now? I would love to know. Can I just launch it? Oh! <gasps> That almost worked. I don't even know which direction I'm facing, but that almost worked. Watch it one more time. Okay, that actually worked. Look at all these trails and paths around here that I've shot the ball. Oh, please go in the- oh, dang it. It was very close, very close. How is this a par four? Who makes this shot in four? Maybe I missed like a secret shortcut or something that I could have used and taken advantage of, but I guess it's too late for that now, huh? And now we got the floating magical pyramids of Giza over here. Pyramids of Golfa. <laughs> we just needed a little more. Please, please. Oh, I was hoping to go on the conveyor belt. Dang it. Yes, hit it. Oh, I almost caught the side. What if I just launch it off this pyramid here? I think it's a little bit safer of an option. Can I hit that? Can I hit that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Hole in one? I mean, hole in seven? I mean, four? It's a par four. We got it in five shots. That's not terrible. This game isn't like much of a game. It's just golf. But there is multiplayer? Question mark. So we might be able to get some friends on and play it too. So I might have to look into that. Also, perfect hit? Question mark. So if I hit it into this little hole right here, am I going to get swooshed around into the hole? I actually just got bounced back up. I see. Very interesting. Okay, knock it in there. Three? I got one under par. That was pretty good, except minus 13 shots. Well, there's my golf score, ladies and gentlemen. I challenge you guys to play this game, play the first level, and see if you can get a higher score than me. I think this game is pretty broken at the moment, but uh, plus 16, that's the score you gotta beat. <laughs> I think you guys can handle it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry this video is a lot shorter than usual. If you guys liked it, go ahead and freeze that like button. You know, you know the usual. If you're new here, more than welcome to subscribe or join the Epic Circle Discord. The link is in the description. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.